Hi and welcome Gemini. Let's see what cards are showing up for you this week and how we can improve your week. And we start here with the Seven of Wands crossed by the Seven of Cups, Knight of Wands in reverse, Knight of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Knight of Cups, High Priestess, Two of Wands, Knight of Cups and Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Okay, so what does this mean? For this week, what's about to happen for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and how we can improve your week. Uh, because that's what Healing Tarot Net is all about. Uh, to improve your week, to improve your day, your life. Uh, because we can do that with tarot cards, we can just take a look at what's going on and how we can improve things. So if you don't like the outcome, you can still change it. <laughs> So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you receive these videos on time. So let's see what happened in the past. The Six of Wands in reverse, clarified by Ten of Wands and the Temperance Tower card in reverse. Uh, this means that something um, was maybe uh, successful in the past, but maybe you didn't uh, give yourself recognition for it. It could be that you have been putting a lot of effort in something or a situation and so at the moment or in the past you, it was very hard to see actually what you um, have been working for. So for example sometimes we have a project or a product or we made something, we created something and we worked so hard for it that when people are going to tell us like oh my god did you make that you all by yourself that's so great that's fantastic and you really feel like um yeah well it was just very hard work i worked five years on this so people do not see what all what work has been put in there um but also you're not giving yourself recognition for something that you have been working on so I think in the past you needed to give yourself a pat on the back for the hard work and also for all these responsibilities that you have been taken. Especially when a project or a situation has taken uh, a very long time, it's maybe hard to see for yourself how much work it was and uh, maybe it, it doesn't feel anymore like magic, you know, <laughs> it's just hard work. But still, the Six of Wands is about a lot of success and so this is something that um, that you really, uh, that's something that not everyone can achieve and something that's, which is pretty, um, it's, it's very successful and it's, it's something that you should, that, that really deserves attention, uh, that deserves recognition. So this could be about your relationship, could be about your work, could be about your career, or about another situation in your life which deserves more recognition. So this could also be just in your relationship that you feel that your partner didn't have, um, didn't give you enough attention, or you didn't give your partner enough attention, or but in any case, what I see here for you uh, is the Ten of Wands clarified by the Hero of and the Two of Pentacles. So this also indicates that this is um, something that maybe society expects from you. Uh, for some reason I have to think about motherhood, becoming a mother or a father. People expect it from you, but actually no one gives you the recognition for it. No one tells you how good you are doing. Well, this is actually the, the foundation of the whole society <laughs> that someone is raising children. So, um, yeah, so I, I, th I really think that in the past there's a lot of successes you had, but you're just simply not aware of it, maybe, or you are aware of it, but it's something you do not get recognition for, which is actually. Um, Need, needs a lot of recognition, needs a lot of, um, yeah, telling, you, you need to know that this is uh, something very great and very successful, something you did. Uh, so whatever it's, it's raising your children or uh, having your own company, uh, I don't know. It could be the, it could be also smaller things, but it's something that not everyone can do, is and which is pretty successful, and which other people cannot. 
and there might also even have some people involved in this work that you did or this project that you had. Mm. But it, it's successful, it turned out to be very successful. If there's some other party involved, I get for them the temp temperance in reverse, clarified by six of swords in reverse and the page of cups in reverse. I think the other party, if there's another party involved, uh, this kind of um, the situation, how they would view it, maybe you got a lot of recognition, you got a lot of applause, or people really liked what you're doing, or maybe they didn't give you the recognition, but in any case, um, if there's another party involved, they, they might not see it just yet. Uh, if it's an audience or your children or someone else, they do not see actually just yet what kind of effort you have been making for them. And so this situation or something you did is very successful and that's something very, very important and get this message over and over again. So it's very important, very, very important to, to realize yourself that the success you had in the past is a huge success. It just don't, didn't get the recognition for it that, that it deserves. Mm. The theme of the Tarot Ring is the Seven of Wands crossed by the Seven of Cups. So this means that during this week there's something with that situation from the past. Something is going on with that subject uh, this week. And you will get to understand why this was so successful. Um, the Nine of Wands in first, the Strength Tarot card and the Hermit indicate that maybe you are this, this could be a project or a relationship that you, you don't want to put in any effort anymore. Maybe you feel very demotivated um, putting any energy in this. But you get to realize that this, this thing, this person, this project is really worth it to put a lot of effort into. Even when you feel very demotivated. Also, when someone's not giving you the recognition for something you did for them, this also indicates that this person is now, they probably get to the conclusion or they probably, they, they take some time to um, process the things that happened in the past and to um, give this, um, I think this person, whoever you have been dealing with, they are just not ready for it yet. They were not ready for something yet. Also, when you made a return to an ex or to someone that you know, uh, you would be really like good friends with or a good couple. Um, I think this person is just not ready for something. There's someone in your environment that's not ready for something. They are not ready for it. Also, when this is about success. They're, they're simply not ready for something yet. The Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Wands and the Six of Pentacles indicate that on a, on a conscious level, uh, I think you, you really feel the need to do things all by yourself. And if you're very careful not working together with other people anymore because it took probably a lot of effort in the past to work together with others. And so I think during this week you really feel the need for doing things by yourself, doing things by your own, being very individualistic. Because of, this is also because of a lack of energy, you already have been uh, putting a lot of effort in, in things in the past, in projects, in, in in actions, activities, or things you did, you already have been putting a lot of effort in it in the past, and so that's why you probably need to be on your own, or need to do things by yourself a lot this week, and not to be surrounded by too many people. Also, when you have a family, maybe you like to take some time off for yourself, doing things by yourself, because there's a lack of energy in this tarot reading, and I think you you finally are to that point that you can say hey now i need time for myself um, that 
your family or, or your work that they are having something like, okay, I, generally I never do, does something like this. Uh, but actually it's pretty good because I see also for the other person that's involved they also have the time to think about it, what you did for them or what you um, what happens when you are not there so I think this this week you're really about to take some time more off for yourself um, doing things on your own being more individualistic also, when you're in a relationship, I think you need this time. I don't see you uh, separating, but this is a time for uh, feeling comfortable with yourself. Uh, when you have been spending a lot of time with other people, it's almost sometimes maybe scary to be on your, at your own because you're just not used to it anymore. But this is very important because the only thing you have is yourself, of course. So you are going to find that um, you're going to f find yourself back again. It sounds a bit silly, but what I mean with it actually is that you are going to take some more time out for yourself this week or you really need to, because there's a lack of energy, so you re need to re-energize yourself by being on your own. So this could be uh, a room, this could be a, a little house somewhere else, this could be uh, friends you know that, that are maybe not at home and maybe you can stay in their house or maybe this is a hotel or a hostel or another place you can stay even when it's for one or two days then you have that time for yourself a bit more so I think for Gemini you have been around people for a very long time not spending much time all by yourself and this is the time probably to spend more time with yourself and it was pretty difficult maybe for you to ask for this uh, time because you um, there, you knew that there were a lot of things uh, that needed to be done and so yeah you had to do certain things but now it's finally time to spend more time for yourself to be more comfortable also with yourself to be by yourself. Let's find out what's more happening this week, what's more important to know for you guys. Um, I get the High Priestess in reverse clarified by the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. I by the way get almost all Aces in your tarot reading, so this means that you are about to make new starts. You are about to make um, new starts that uh, create a very different atmosphere in your environment as well because it's like uh, it's a little like a shift of consciousness a shift of knowing what's important in your life and what doesn't matter so much there might also be for some of you someone new entering your life uh, this could be a lover or this could be a very good friend but this is especially in your social environment like a fresh air uh, for, like something new that's entering your life that makes you really feel renewed for some of you maybe you even have a secret lover or you have someone on the background that actually you really like you really like each other but this is not something, this is not that you are doing something with this. Both of you are just, this is more something that's going on in the background. This is not something that's being outspoken or being told to each other. This is something very much on the background. No one knows about it. Maybe even the other person doesn't know about it. So it is very much on the background, but it is something to keep an eye on because um, if you are in a relationship, you're ready making that step to be to spend some time more with yourself and so it's good to understand that um, the things that you already have to improve it and not to yeah to not confuse the situation for yourself to not to get 
confused about stuff, about things, about your love life or about your relationship or marriage or um, the situation you are in right now. So it's very good to stay sharp. Maybe you are secretly in love and this is something you want to find out for yourself. Not with anyone involved, but just feeling just for yourself to find out. I think also that you have to stand up for yourself all the time in this relationship or friendship or at your work. All the time you have to stand up for yourself, all the time you have to, um, to tell the other person or uh, reasons. That's why the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Cups are showing up. Maybe you also have to convince yourself in a certain way of something all the time. To convince yourself that something is correct or not correct. Well, in reality, when you just let go of everything and just see what happens, maybe the situation would look completely different from what it is right now. So, yes, there, there is something on the background going on for Gemini. Um, I think this is also something very positive because this also uh, indicates that you are... Um, it's almost like you are trying to tune in more into your what you really feel for someone. Uh, this could be someone new, but I don't see here cards that indicate that someone's cheating. No, don't worry about that. Also, when you're a cross watcher, this is not about cheating. This is about um, Gemini. You are trying to find back um, what you feel for. Um, the things that you are doing, the passion that you have for your work, the passion that you have for your family, for your marriage, the situation you are in right now, like, are you still on the right path? That's probably what you're trying to find out, and sorry for the noise in the background. <laughs> so you probably try to find out if you're still on the right path. And other people know, because maybe you're very silent at the moment, you're not saying too much, you're still trying to find out for yourself what the best thing to do is. So the other people, if there's other, other people involved or another party, they also take that time out for themselves to re-evaluate re things in their lives. And they get a lot of clarity on it as well. So. Maybe you, do, you are doing certain things right now that also makes that they are getting more clarity. So if this is about your marriage, this is definitely about the both of you coming more together uh, by taking some time off for yourself, being um, comfortable also by yourself and not to be independent, but to be very comfortable also being by yourself, spending time by yourself. In, during the middle of the week, I get the Knight of Cups clarified by the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Eight of Swords. So maybe when you are taking both some time out, um, maybe you are you are getting to understand that maybe you are dealing with trust issues or uh, your partner does. But this is not about cheating, like I said. This is about. Uh, about feeling comfortable with yourself again and it doesn't have to do with any other people than only you and your partner. And you and your partner is also yourself <laughs> and your partner himself or herself. So you're both also separate people and I feel like people who are watching this right now, you have been for so long time maybe uh, maybe even in being in the same room or being in the same house, not being out there very, uh, not a lot. And so um, it seems that this week it's, it's a little bit uh, time for uh, rediscovering yourself, who you actually are. Because uh, in groups or with two people you are adapting certain behavior, doing certain things you always did when you were together. And when you're one day or two days uh, separate doing something else, then the energy is already changing. And when you're together, you can have maybe more 
uh, being yourself a bit more uh, with each other also bring renewed energy so it, this is not a third person like I said this is renewed energy that you you are developing within yourself because you are focusing on other things for one day or two days or a week and because of that when you are together again you also can feel that feeling again of uh, that you have missed each other a lot Mm, yeah, and I see a lot of feelings as well, so this is definitely not over yet. If this is between you and your partner, this is not something that's over. This is something that is about to renew between the both of you. Actually, all aces show up in your tarot reading because I also see the ace of wands. So yeah, you get all aces in the tarot reading. For Gemini. So a lot of renewed energy in your relationship and if you're single uh, this indicates that maybe a friend or someone that's close to you that normally were maybe you were just friends or colleagues this might become someone more than only a colleague or a friend because I feel like on the background there's like renewed love or there's there's something going on between you and someone else. If you're in a marriage, I don't see you cheating. I don't see your partner cheating. Like I said, I don't see uh, third parties involved. But when you're single, I do see that there's someone coming into your life. And I think you're enjoying the time right now by being by yourself, because I think both of you know that there's something more going on between you. So, it's, it's all in the background, it's, it's very hidden, it's, it's not clear for no one, even not for yourself. Uh, but this is what's going on, this is someone new that's entering your life. So in the end of the week, I think for the singles, this especially has to do with this person. Uh, because this person um, maybe crosses your path in a very unexpected way, in a, fair, in a way that you Thing. For example, you like to catch the bus and then you're running for the bus and you're, you're just too late. Damn it, you're just too late. But then at the bus stop, someone's waiting there as well who missed the bus. And, you know, and then you meet each other like that. And maybe this is a little like a cheesy, silly example. But this is maybe the way that you're going to meet this new person in your life. If, when this is about your marriage, I think something's about to happen that you feel like it's so unfortunate that it's happening to the both of you. But this is creating something between you that is making the bond way stronger than before. And so that's why this is a renewed feeling that's entering your marriage or your relationship. That's making the bonds or the, the connection between you both way stronger. And I think you're both getting really happy because of this. Especially uh, some the person you're dealing with, I get the Ten of Cups in reverse for them. So maybe they have lost feelings for you or they spend a lot of time by themselves. And now you're the one who likes to take some time out. But I think this is, um, this is only making the relationship better. Uh, so it feels that during this week, for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs, something's about to happen to make your relationship and your love life way stronger than it was before. But it might not seem like that in the first place. But yeah, looks sometimes deceive. So um, there's a lot of renewed energy coming up in, in regards of your work, love life, career, everything. There's something new entering it. And this makes things completely different and makes you feel energetic again over this relationship or over your career. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe. Sorry, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button and see you later in the next video.